Locate your lost device, erase data and app lock. Hey guys, I'm Avail back again with another video. This time it is about how to locate your device or erase data or lock your device if you have lost your device. Plus, how to protect your applications in general through an app lock if you're using stock Android devices. So before we start, if you're new to my channel, then do hit the subscribe button. And if you have already subscribed, then a big thank you to all of you guys. So let's get started. First of all, I would like to tell you that nowadays it is really very important that you keep your smartphones secure and protected because you are keeping or storing really private and important information on your devices plus nowadays we do all all the transactions online right so like banking app and other things are being done so it is really important that the privacy is maintained but what if if you have lost your device what you should do so this is what i'm going to tell you what you should do there is an app called you know, Google's Find My Device. So you have to install that. So after that, you can prevent you know, uh, the person who might have actually found your device or who might have stolen your device from using your important data. So what to do? Let me tell you that. Go to Play Store, then simply find this app, Google. find my device okay after that you just have to install it I have already done it so I just have to open it now what you have to do you have to sign in with your Google ID so continue then you have to put the password so let me put my password so once the login is done it will ask you for the access to your devices location allow that okay then automatically it will you know um, locate the devices or identify the devices which are logged in with the same Google ID so in my case here you can see that two devices are logged in with the same ID one is this Asus Max Pro M2 another one is this one that I'm holding now okay so here you can see this uh, Nokia 6.1 plus so here what I can do I can secure the device obviously I don't have to do it for this device what I can do for this Asus Max Pro M2 now I can play the sound if I have uh, you know unknowingly misplaced it so I can play the sound and I can know that where the device is actually plus I can lock the device secure device suppose this is the Asus Max Pro M2 now if I do this play sound okay so this will ring this device right so this is really helpful because sometimes we uh, misplace the device and we can do it quickly plus i can secure the device what i can do suppose this is unlocked now right suppose i can write a message here don't touch <laughs> okay don't touch my phone okay suppose don't touch okay now secure now what will happen you can see that this is locked right the message will be displayed here and the person if someone has stolen now he cannot actually open this unlock this device okay so this is what you can do through this app plus another thing which is really important erase data erase data right erase device right all data will be permanently erased from this device after you your device has been erased you can't locate it so obviously if you have decided that you know if you have lost your device and if you have decided that I can't actually get the phone back so that's the time where you have to do it otherwise if you have just misplaced it and uh, unknowingly you have kept it somewhere and if you do it then you won't get the data that you know that is there on the device so you have to be careful in this case before erasing any data but it can be done when you're sure that your phone is stolen right so this is a really important thing because this way you can save your privacy because someone who's if someone has stolen your device so he can do anything with the data he or she has so i believe that this app is really really useful nowadays because i believe that it should not happen to anyone but what if unfortunately it happens then we should know what to do next right so i believe that this will help you guys and if it helps then do subscribe and do let me know your opinion obviously what you think about it now next thing is that 
uh, how to protect the apps, right? So for that, you just have to go to Play Store. I have tried many other app lock, but I found that this Norton app lock is really, you know, it is working fine. You open it after installing it. Okay, open this app, then agree and launch. Permission required, obviously you have to give certain permissions, then set up. Now what you can do, find and tap on Norton app, right, close it, then go to the app, set up. Now what you have to do, app lock, you have to turn this on, okay right now you have to set the pattern suppose i am setting it like this okay reset you have to match it twice done okay choose a google account so this one okay done continue that's done now you have to select the apps that you would like to lock suppose this one suppose photos locked right now if i close this and i would like to open this now it will ask me to give the pattern right now another thing that you should know here this option is that keep app logged in session what happens in this case if you check this and if you open this okay now it is open right now if you closed it now if you again open it it will again ask you for the lock right now what if I have opened it suppose once done now I have not actually closed it right suppose screen is locked now if I open it again what happens it will again ask you the lock okay so for that you have to check this option keep app locked in session and I am I found that this is working really good there is no lag or it is very simple that's why I'm suggesting this one other otherwise there are other apps but I haven't found them that useful plus it also works with the screen you know your biometric uh, fingerprint scanner it also works with that so that is really good so I believe that these are the things that we should know particularly the app that I have shown you the find my device you should do it because we never know when that thing may happen to us so it's really important that we take it in advance and we are careful that's it because as I told you nowadays we are keeping everything on our smartphone so it's really important that we know how to protect it protect it particularly so I believe that this will help you guys and if it helps then do subscribe do share with your friends and do share your opinion in the comment section so till the next video cheers guys